you know, there's about 200 bills that are retained by the legislature that are going to be left over in, from the 2013 session and, and actually have to be voted on by the House or the Senate by early in 2014. Uh, I'd like to talk about one of them because it kind of has an interesting connection to the revisions that have been made to the Children in Needs of Services program. This bill would actually reinstate 17-year-olds as juveniles rather than adults in the criminal court system. This goes back more than 20 years when um, former Speaker Hout Donna Sytek really read this, led this campaign along with Governor Steve Merrill, a Republican, to make 17-year-olds adults in the criminal system, essentially because they were, particularly during the 80s and 90s, uh, many 17-year-olds were taking advantage of the fact that they were juveniles in New Hampshire, but adults in Massachusetts and in other neighboring states. So a lot of these drug dealers were actually using mules, bringing them in, having them operate in New Hampshire because they were juveniles and could, and not adult criminals if they were caught. That was one of the reasons, along with some pretty heinous cases committed by 17-year-olds. At any rate, it's really been with us now for nearly 20 years. And there's growing support, in, particularly in the New Hampshire House, to go back the other way, to essentially make 17-year-olds juveniles. Now, we've just, a new law, as we've talked about in other videos, Governor Maggie Hassan has just signed a law that actually reinstates the Children in Needs of Services program that provides a lot more services to juveniles um, that hadn't had them in the last two years. So what's the reason um, for, if philosophically you have a lot of essentially uh, liberal Democrats and also uh, a lot of libertarian Republicans in the House who essentially feel 17-year-olds aren't adults and should be treated by juveniles as juveniles and not adults in the criminal justice system. That's why Republicans, conservative Republicans, have actually sponsored this bill to go back to making 17-year-olds juveniles. Why didn't it pass the House? Why was it retained then? The almighty dollar. If you reverse this program, and you make 17, you bring 17-year-olds back into the juvenile system, they're going to have to receive those services as chins or as criminal delinquents. Um, and that costs money, actually to the tune of at least $3 million a year in state spending, about $6 million in total spending. And with a tight budget this past year, that's one of the reasons why it never even got reported back to the House to have this debate. And instead, the committee stuck... Um, retained it, isn't going to study it, and starting next week um, is going to have a hearing actually with a committee that's looking at CHIN services in general to look at the best practices by other states in terms of dealing with 17-year-olds and the most cost-effective way to deliver services to them uh, if they are going to be juveniles, not adults. Trust me, when this issue comes back, if it does, and this committee recommends that 17-year-olds should be juveniles and not adults, a lot of pushback in the law enforcement community. There's going to be quite a bit of pushback from uh, many Republicans in the past uh, and strong law enforcement supporters in the legislature who don't want 17-year-olds to go back to being kids and not adults when they commit crimes.